What's going on? This is Greg with Greg Said It. Another Daylight Savings Edition. Man, it's amazing how they switch that time up and, and the earth, the days get shorter and then they shrink the clock. I, I, I've been wanting to do some research on that for so long. It just don't make sense. I, I get Arizona and a lot of other people complaining about that thing. It's like, it's amazing how you switch that clock up and the day just gets short. It's about to be dark in like the next 30 minutes here. And man I, I guess the days get shorter and shorter up to like mid -de like december 25th ish and then it kind of increased slowly back up so the days just get shorter and shorter in this fall time so i gotta squeeze my little video in mate y'all make sure y'all subscribe here catch up on like go back and check out some of the videos we've been doing the season's coming to the end it's almost like you can do a marathon version go back and see the stuff we've been talking about and see the journey we've had through this season Make sure you go ahead and subscribe, Greg. Said it. Like, share, subscribe. Comment. Feel free to comment. Man, we got, what, three games left. We just count this thing down so that what this make. This is, what, week 10, maybe? It's four and five. It's week 10. Arizona coming in, feeling themselves. Man, I don't know. I, I, maybe it's my fandom hope. Arizona might be in for the rude awakening. I think the Buffaloes, <clears throat> they're overdue. The Buffaloes are overdue for a good one. The defense been sneaking up, and the offense is overdue. Offense been ragged as they could be, scoring 30-plus points. The defense was giving up 30-40, right? But the defense play like they playing, man. They might make even the SAR offense look like an all-star team. They can get them points up with the sacks and all. Yeah, we need to run that ball. But I'm wondering, just looking at Coach Prime, he's a true salesman, especially for the camera. Do the Buffaloes still believe? Do the Colorado Buffaloes still believe? Seem like it. You want to have fun at practice? They're doing little races at the end of practice. The players boogalooing around. They're trying to stay loose. Man, they're going to be back at home at a 2 o'clock game. No more super late night silly games at 10 o'clock at night Eastern. A two o'clock game, and they're gonna be playing at noon again. Back to their noon schedule. I mean, that's when they back. They haven't played that since back at what uh, Nebraska, I think. At least at home. So man, that's they they playing in the time they love to play at the place they love to play. We shouldn't need no overtime. Forget, don't forget, we still the Colorado Buffaloes, y'all. You know when y'all was hyping up Arizona, good. The Pac-12, good. We expected it, right? Arizona was not really one of those teams. I have kind of like a ranking in my mind, especially as we went through the season. You got the upper tier. You got the Washington with the Huskies. Then you got the Oregon Ducks, right? Then you kind of slide into that middle tier. It's like this big. You got USC kind of fell down. It was elite. They kind of fell down in there. And then you got your Oregon States, you know, you know, with the Beavers. And you got your um, UCLA Bruins, you know, they kind of fell in there. They've been in there. You know, we still learned the conference this year. So we, I got a, a better grasp of how this look. Then, you know, Arizona kind of trying to slide in there because they kind of at the bottom of that middle tier. Colorado's, you know, they really just been fluctuating all over the place. Who they believe they are, who they could be, they really been all over. They and Sometimes in the beginning, it looked like they could have been up there. Then, like, okay, we'll fall down a little bit around, you know, right below USC. We're going to beat the USCLA. We're going to beat the Oregon State. You know, then you got Washington State kind of down in there. They kind of, they was kind of in there. They kind of fell down to the bottom of that middle tier. And then, of course, you got your bottom tier. Stanford is right at the top, Cal. And believe it or not, Colorado has played like all of them at points. Their line is blocked like they're the bottom tier. The offense has played like they upper middle tier and sometimes even elite, especially when you throwing 500 yards a game, four receives over 100. Elite. But the defense weren't quite there. When you put it all together, they can do it. They got to have the right attitude. I see Coach Prime bigging up, telling people they're going to play like Kamani. You know, they say that stuff, but it, hey, Kamani might get in. And I think it's senior night, a senior day or something like that. So I wonder, is Cooper going to be out there? He a senior. I noticed Cooper play good, and then he get pulled out when he make a mistake. Everybody do. For the most part, people say he, he favors certain people. He don't pull Travis out. He don't pull, you know, maybe even Shallow. But, you know, these elite players, guys. I mean, how much more Travis got to show y'all? You really going to take the risk? On his worst day, he's still Travis. He still can get a pick. 
So you pulling him out, it just ain't the same. I'm sorry. You can call it favor. It is favor. You can't just pull a shadow out. You can't treat everybody the same. You treat everybody fair or not the same. Have you not heard that? It's, it don't work like that. It's tears there too. Upper tier, middle tier, lower tier. You have to realize everybody is not the same. Everybody is not Travis. Everybody is not Shadur. And Shallow has been proven. Everybody's not even him. Shallow coming up, he, he, he's coming to his own. He's coming to his own. It's the Headache Gang CEO. He's blowing people up. He came back, had some knee issues last year, kind of came back slow, Jackson State. Kind of try to figure out the defense. He, he's comfortable. You don't got him a pick. He don't knock some balls out of people's hand. You can't tell Shallow now. There's one thing about a person like Shallow, like his dad. Once his confidence is in, man, the momentum is going to kick in. So it ain't no fluky thing. Shallow is going to be continuing to do that because his confidence. He know he belong. Travis Hunter, I think his confidence is in. It's like y'all question it. Throw his way if you want to. I'm still Travis Hunter, and I'm proved it. Throw his way if you want to. He's going to pick you off all day. He have a pick every game. But don't forget he missed three. He missed three. They went, I mean, he came back tied one game, and you talked down on him. Colorado still has Colorado inside of them. They just play like they ain't. They play like they don't have a clue. They play like they don't want to be there. But they have a potential, guys. Greg said it. They have a potential to catch you. Not slipping. But they have a potential to hit you in your mouth like TCU. They have a, and everybody say TCU is it. Yeah, that, that is the staple. That's the standard. People talk about this is the game of the year. That, it was a big game because it set the standard. And people wondering why everybody made a big deal because it set the standard for what people knew they had, could be. This same Colorado team. Arizona, you better bring it, cause this Arizona, this 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 Colorado team is still Colorado. Shador is still Shador. Weaver is still Weaver. Travis is still Travis. Jimmy Horn is still Jimmy Horn. Them boys are still them boys. They may act like they may not act like it. But they still can turn up and be them guys. And that's why you got to always respect them. That line can block when they want to, or else you want to have them 500 yard games. They gave us sacks, but they can block when they want to. Act like they ain't never blocked. They ain't put up 40, 50 points by mistake. It wasn't all to do. They had to give him some time. He can't go Brady Mole on his back. They bought like him. They can, they can cut it on when they want to. These Colorado Buffaloes are still the Colorado Buffaloes. The question is, do they still believe? Because I'm telling y'all, if they do, you're writing them off. But they're the kind of team, I'm going to tell you. I hate to say it. I did a video last about too little, too late. They like to be too little, too late in the game. But they're the kind of team that can mess around and be too little, too late in the season. Not too little, too late to make a bowl game, but too little, too late to show you what they could have did. These boys can mess around. They could. And defense play like they playing, and offense go back to how they were playing, it, it'll be hard to beat them. I'm going to be real with you. If the defense can keep you to 20 and they and the offense on their worst day can, can go 35, it's going to be hard to beat them. If they can pull that together, man, they can run through everybody else on the schedule. Call it fandom. I'm going to be real with you. They could do it. If the defense, and I, I don't, I'm going to be real with you. Defense been trending up since USC. They kind of woke up a little bit. And I think Arizona State, they kind of figured it out. But really since then, you can blame them on the team. Because everybody don't play each other close. So don't, don't act like it, like it's a difference. They all don't play each other close. Arizona don't snuck up on people. Stanford don't try to sneak up on people. Arizona State don't snuck up on people. Washington State. Don't snuck up on people and been snuck up on. It is what it is. But I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to tell y'all. Don't think it's strange if Colorado mess around and just decide to become Colorado of old with a defense. 
Is that possible? It is absolutely possible. You know why it's possible? These boys have played together more. The coaches are more familiar with what they have than they were the first two, three weeks. And they, they, they know their strengths and weaknesses a lot better. There's no way they don't. They know who can't block and what can't block. They call them dumb plays and everybody on their back. I'm sure they less likely to call the same dumb plays. They're going to be catching all kinds of H-E double because of it. The kinks should really be out. The defense has shown. They've been getting them kinks out. They've been getting pressure. They've been decent with the run. Keep them off the field. They've been holding the score down better than they did the first half. And no matter who they play, they 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 held the score down against some good offenses. Who could run the ball? Nobody want to talk about that. UCLA was known to have a good running game. Oregon State was too. They didn't just run all over them. Y'all can throw the stats around, but they didn't just run all over them. The scoreboard shows it. It wasn't the run game that beat them. It's the run game that they use to run out the clock and secure the rent, the wins, the same way Colorado should have did against Stanford. That's all. But they held them boys. They held them down. So the defense has potential. Yeah. It's just my thoughts. I want to hear y'all. It's getting dark. And, man, again, if you watching this, I got like half and half at this point, which is pretty decent. If you haven't subscribed, what are we waiting on? Go ahead and subscribe. Lock in. We got still some more good stuff coming. Check out all of some other videos I had. Go ahead and show some love. Like, share, do all that good stuff. Y'all might be sharing this because I, I might be calling something. I might be back to my old self. Arizona might be in trouble. I ain't going off of film. I'm not going off of what's what's been said. It's just a feeling. Colorado's overdue. They don't play enough sorry games. They know everybody know what they don't do right. They might have a little something to prove. Some people might want to go to the next level. Some people might want to have a job next year. Some people might want to find another job somewhere else. They they got a little motivation. It ain't no motivation to just go in and lay down either. They still can be bowl eligible. That would be a, a good finish. But anyway, y'all go ahead and hit that. Hit them buttons. I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good one.